Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels and Destiny show. Why is this show called This You May Ask? So I'll tell you, the accepted meaning of angel is messenger and the accepted meaning of destiny is to make them establish. So my guests and I bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And also I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now in a moment I will introduce you to my wonderful guest Michelle Bard. But before that I'd like to say thank you for watching the show live or at a later date. As it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. If you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to cross those in their life, heal their past, create their future, transform their present, so they can take control of their destiny in the here and now. I am the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic reiki, hypnosis, meditation, angel cards, to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, a mini guided meditation angel card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Michelle Bard, who with myself will be talking about our freedom to transform in the presence of horses sessions to help you become braver than you are. Now, Michelle is the founder of Kent Equine Facilitated Learning and has a passion for helping others overcome challenges, realise that there is more to life, know that you are not alone and you can love your life. Misha was a young single mum who faced her own challenges, so understand young mums and their challenges. Misha has been teaching for many years when, when she realised that school didn't suit her anymore, took the decision to start her business, which incorporates the assistance of forces to work with those who are facing challenges in their lives, whether children or adults, especially young mums who may have lost their self-esteem, and that there are opportunities for them to take charge of their destiny. So without further ado, hello, Michelle, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny Show. How are you today? Yeah, I'm quite good, thanks. Excellent. So before we start this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can also ask questions and leave comments and thoughts as both Michelle and I want to be part of this show. So please do not be shy. Um, we'll try to say hello to everyone who says hello um, and answer any questions or comments. And if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, then please um, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to it so you can get updates on all future shows. So, Michelle, why don't we start um, with how were you working with clients and horses or, or your clients working with horses, how it, how it helps your clients? Well, I suppose it's individual. So for every single client, there's a completely different outcome. Um, and the pathway that they take is different. It's very, it's very much uh, an individual thing. Um, but generally, the horses will be more connected to someone who's connected to themselves. So, in terms of uh, people who are not accepting what life's brought them, or are in denial about certain situations in their life, um, people that are not processing pain and anger. Um, so holding on to grief and holding on to pain, all of those types of situations that people find themselves in, the horses are really great at <clears throat> detecting those energy blockages or um, people that are not, you know, not con you know, don't have that congruence for themselves. And the horses will not; <laughs> they just won't connect with somebody who's who's um, who's not acting as they should be in the present. So there's there's so much uh, to cover. And um, I generally um, like to do eight eight session blocks with people, um, and there's you know specific headings and, and kind of titles to the sessions that will um, sort of sit themselves under different categories for people. So it's, you know it's not really about mm. categorising because I've you know things come up, but there are certain activities that I'll do that are prescribed, mm. and, and and sort of work our way around. So yeah, yeah, it sort of helps helps like that. Um, most of my clients that have a session will then want to book a, a, a block of sessions. And, you know, even people that own horses and have horses um, find that working with horses in this way is a completely different experience to what a horse rider would expect from a horse, um, you know, what an equestrian would expect a horse to be like. And people say, you know, did you train your horses to do this stuff? And it's like, well, no, it's not. It's just about being in the herd and, um, and you know, recognising that your energy is affecting other living uh, energetic mm. beings. 
Waffle, yeah. waffle. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's fine. And um, uh, in, in a bit, I'll sort of like, um, I can tell you a bit about that um, thing because the experience I had when I, when I um, uh, went, went into the herd and with, and with the horses. So that's um, so obviously we're talking about freedom to um, transform in the presence of horses, which is a collaboration that Michelle and I um, are doing together, where we're working with both the horses, um, and Michelle's giving you some of the benefits, and also working with um, Angelic Craigie, Future Life Progression and Past Life Regression. And I find that my clients, when we work with those, get a clearer idea of where they're supposed to be going what they're supposed to be doing um because the angelic reiki kind of like helps clear and heal any residue energy and gets them into a nice relaxed um state and when we go into past lives by going into past lives we clear stuff from the past so that it doesn't affect us in the present and when my clients go into the future they get to see what their future is going to be and what they can do to get there which again helps them to be fully in the present and they know where they're going and what they're doing. Mm. And we've kind of like worked out that we can actually do that together um, with, with, with both their, uh, with, with both their um, uh, different ways of, of working to help people become and essentially braver than, than, than you are, um, mm. uh, to, 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 quote a, to quote a phrase. Um, so, I mean, if, if, if we were talking about, so, so Michelle and I, we kind of like have um, experienced each other's um, uh, techniques. Techniques, yeah, yeah that, that's yeah. the, that's the, I was trying to think, what word am I trying to use Athings. there? Yeah, things. Yeah, things. Yeah, uh, yeah thing, our things. If we, if we were youth, we won't go into that one. Um, so, yeah, so we kind of like did it to see, to see how they, they would work um and um well if we, we start with my story um yeah, sure. if we start with my sorry first when i um first went to um the stables to see the horses that i got there before michelle did and i was watching the horses over, over the fence and then when michelle's come she's opened the gate to let the horses come through um now as she did didn't i didn't twig too much at the time but I think you you did notice in you Michelle that the horses kind of like avoided me mm, um yeah, I, wide, wide birth, yeah. yeah yeah I was standing I was standing by the by the fence by a gate and they sort of like avoided me so I didn't take too much notice of it and then when we were chatting later and um I was saying about how I used to I've always liked horses but I always had a bit of trep trepidation around them and, ye and years ago, um, I went on a, a gypsy caravan with 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 the Roman ex partner, and I couldn't drive the horses. I could walk by the horse, the um, and it's kind of like okay, I can get out of the way if I need to. Um, and so my partner kind of like did most of the stuff with the horses. And then when we took the caravan back, as the horse was being taken out. How it happened, I don't know, but I got between the um, the gate and the horse, and the horse literally, because it was moving out, was literally coming straight straight for me. And if it wasn't for the strength of my ex and the guy, I would have been squished by the horse because horses are quite big, powerful things. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really try and twig that too much at the moment. But anyway, I then um, did past life regression. And I found out that in past life I'd been killed. I've been killed several times by horses in a past life. So I healed. So through the past life, I actually healed um, my my fear of not not fear my trepidation of horses through mm. the past life stuff, which then allowed me when I was in Egypt um, to actually go and do healing on a horse. But what I hadn't realised is that I hadn't healed the thing that happened in the present. So I'd healed my past to allow me to be comfortable around horses, but I hadn't actually healed that part. And I think um, you said, Misha, didn't you, that the horses picked up on my energy and that oh, yeah. issue I'd had and that issue I'd had with the past where the horses where the horses nearly squashed me against the fence. 
Mm. Yeah. So, so your uh, what's going on internally internally for you? The horses will hundred percent pick up on, um, and they just picked up on that you needed space from them, and they they gave you that space. They kind of, and I just saw your body kind of. I don't want to say it, but clammy went a bit like yeah. up a little bit and sort of as if to say, no, they will just walk past me and, and they did and, and you know, and it was um it was briefly, wasn't it? They just mm. came out and we walked across the field and I just thought, Okay, so I can really see now what your feelings are like around the horses. Now I would be the same. I would if I was uh, to walk into a field of horses that I didn't know I would definitely be giving out signals that would be of, of being a little, maybe a little bit unnerved, a little bit unsure. Um, because again, it's, you know, it's like with any animal, you need to respect that animal and, and allow them to have their, their own space. And um, before you go in, you know, and sort of lull yeah. up and lull all over them. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a great way really when you see, you know, sort of just coming back to, you know, how people initially greet a horse um, it, it can tell you a lot about the person in, in terms of what they get back and then uh, what their immediate kind of, you know, uh, feedback is from that initial greeting with the horse. You can you can you can definitely tell a lot about a person. So, um, but yeah, for you, it was just uh, I could just see that it was just a, it was a, a, there were, there's a level of uncomfortableness, but it looked quite it looked quite high to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which, which I I personally didn't tweet because I thought I'd cleared all of it with the, with the past and I'd cleared all my past life stuff, yeah. but not the incident that happened in the, in the present. Yeah. So um, so even though we had that little thing, I did actually go out uh, um, to uh, to connect with 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 the herd, um, and, that, and yeah. then. Yeah, I mean, the, so but the process is 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 different, then, isn't it? So from the mm. initial kind of walking past the horses to then actually going out and being with the herd, we kind of go through. There's a few things that I do uh, mm. with the clients, and what I did with you is to actually bring your energy level down to a place. So so you're you're more grounded, and you're coming out of your head, and and you know you're feeling yourself and feeling quite present before you go in with the horses. So there's that. I, it almost um, puts the horses in in a different um, energy zone with you, and they 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 they're quite chilled out at the point where you're ready. I think to go in and to, and to sort of connect with the horses, and you're armed with some knowledge as well about you know yeah. what horses do and don't do, and what they can see and can't see, and a lot exactly. of them. exactly and how to approach horses. So I don't think a lot of people tend really know unless you you work with horses, you don't tend to know how you should really approach a horse well it's it's funny because when i say to people and like i say questions you know about the, the horse's vision um and and that they can't see between their eyes you know that kind of space directly between their eyes which is quite close to them and that's the first place people normally want to reach out and mm -hmm. put their hand on the sort of forehead of the horse and and you just you like why would you do that because the horse can't see and the horse will immediately come back and sort of turn their eye to see but uh you know somebody who's not sure will pick up on that the horse is being aggressive by kind of lifting its head and it's quite a quick move but actually all the horse is trying to do is just get a better look just to make sure that that you're okay and you know the same from behind the horse can't see you know can't see because his eyes are on the head and you can't actually see directly behind him so a lot of people have been mistakenly kicked by a horse because they've come up in that direction directly behind the horse and the horse is just using his pr protective instinct and just you know putting his foot out and if you're that close you're gonna you know you're gonna feel it so so there's lots of things where people oh i didn't know that i didn't know that and they're people these yeah. are some people that actually own horses so, wow yeah so it's quite it's quite nice for that and then there's that you know the horse can hear your heartbeat and it's going to pick up on the adrenaline and the, and the smells that your body are, are just giving off without you you know there's no way that you can fake that they're almost i would say they're like a furry lie detector because they just pick it all up yeah yeah um but but it's amazing when you do bring your um air, you know your, your levels down and you actually go in with them and you actually connect with their energy mm -hmm um you know um my experience it was absolutely amazing and wonderful you know um connecting um um with with with, with the horse at the, with the horse at the t with the horse at the time um so so that was the first time i'd never heard then when i went back the second time um 
it was it was it was slightly different, wasn't it? Because um, a vet was due into into the stables, um, and I, and again, it's something I didn't pick I didn't pick up on this at all. Um, it was only Michelle that picked up on this. As I was parking my car, she said, "Oh, come into the stables." And without thinking, I've gone in and I've literally gone straight up to the horse, correct way, and was actually quite happily stroking the horse. Mm. There was nothing, there was no barrier, was there? There was no actual barrier no. away from you. Or no, it was an, an instant, a, a, a much more comfortable connection. You know, there was no, and there was no need actually for me to even sort of work with you on it. You just went straight in and you felt completely comfortable, which was, mm. was really nice. Yeah, yeah. Which, which just goes to show you know, how, how quickly it, it can work um when when you when you actually um you know you, you are in the presence with with the horses you know it really can transform um you, you know in in stages if not all at once um then 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 in stages and then later in the day i got to dance with the horse which was really um it was really lovely it was lovely yeah yeah and and and, it, and it's and it's amazing it's sort of like how um at one point uh our, um, our legs were kind of like moving in sync with with um with with each other um but that's just one of the things that you can do with um with the horses so there's there's lots of different categories that you can and you go with the you go with the one that you're guided to your gut instinct and mine was to go and dance with the horse mm. I know and it was lovely. It was, and like you say, I mean, when you think about the strides of, of, of their walk, you know, and and I think your strides were exactly the same as well. Mm. So you know, I think you were sort of almost doing a step between your stride, like or a footprint between your stride, and he was literally matching that distance and your time in. So mm. that would be a good video actually to share. I mean, it was it it was really really nice, and it was almost then. I think you, you know, you picked the card, which was the boundary dance, which was just so great because yeah. it was almost like he was saying, well, if you go there, I'll go there. And I know you're OK with that and I'm OK with it. And that was almost the conversation that was going on between you both throughout the dance. You know, that was what I could see, you know, from, from a, you know, from an onlooker's point of view. So, no, it's yeah. really lovely. Yeah, yeah. So, so, so that was that. That was amazing, and that's only part of the um, freedom to transform in the presence of horses that that you'll get get to experience. Mm -hmm. um, and then, obviously, there's um, what I do. So, so you had the angelic crakey, and you went into a future lifetime. So, how was that? Well, the future lifetime was really um, it was really amazing. I mean, I've, you know, I've I've done. Reiki before and had Reiki before and I, I always feel um, an energetical shift in Reiki and you know feel you know the Reiki healers energy really working around my body because I think there's so much to shift at times and um, you know particularly if I'm working with a heavy workload of people or, you know so there's always there's always, I always get something lovely from Reiki. The future life for me was um, interesting in that it was showing me that I could be quite isolated but but not be isolated so I could be unique and sort of be out there in in a place um, and, and where I was I was in the future and it was um I was an, an animal you know I wasn't in this life so I was in a different life and it was obviously a reincarnated or you know where, where I've kind of moved on in, into the future um, and I just felt so comfortable knowing that I was in contact with and, 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 and had a connection with other other spirits or uh, energies. But actually, um, I, I, I didn't need to physically be connected or even hear from these people or these uh, these beings or, or know or get any, um, you know, any any sort of judgment, feedback, yeah. you know, any words from them. It was just like, you are just great where you are you're, it's perfect and it was like a you know feeling of being wrapped in cotton wool it was like I'm, I'm so perfect here um and I was thinking I don't want to leave <laughs> <laughs> I just, just want to stay here and, and and actually I'm going through um I've sort of split up with my partner um last summer and it's been quite tough to um to just come back into being me again you know and to kind of 
re-establish um you know myself as a, a back to being the single mom and you know lo- you know love love yeah. love having all of it around me you know my son and my children and you know really really enjoy it and the horses and but um yeah so that kind of feeling that I can just sit back and just kind of be be comfortable and confident in just myself really so there, there was quite a lot of messages that I'd, I'd got from that because at times i felt as though especially december i think december's hard for lots of people but i felt as though december was was going to be tough and i you know my my family actually really rallied around you know especially especially my daughter my son to make sure to ensure that we felt like a family in a unit so that was quite um getting a bit, bit emotional but yeah that was that was a lovely you know december actually and christmas turned out to be what it was meant to be which was a really lovely family experience um but yeah so yeah and that that meditation that future life yeah. gave me a lot of comfort in what you know what i'm doing now so mm. yeah it was great it was really good it yeah. was really great and you were able to bring back that feeling to recreate it um, whenever, whenever you need it and, and I'm often thinking about it I'm, I'm often reminding myself that I you know this is not something it was almost like it was you don't need to wait for this you don't need to get to this place to experience this this is part of you and this is you know you've got this ability to be this already so so just be this already you know it was almost like that so so just be this already you know just just be be just as you be are you. Yeah, be as you are in the future. Just bring it in now. You know, don't wait. So, which was really lovely, and it, and it is something I'm often, you know, putting my mindset into. So that's really good. Yeah, yeah. Thank so, you. Thank oh, you, you for that. You're 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 you're, well, you're welcome. Um, amazing. You know, yeah. Well, it, it was it was amazing work, working with with the horses, and of course we get to do that again um with their um these um these sessions that uh, we're going we're going to be running with this collaboration um because we're going to be working over three sundays aren't we three months yeah so there's three there's three sundays where people come together as a group um and we're quite used to doing group um events at you know at the yard so that's that's quite you know that's quite a nice thing to just be able to extend to this um, and then either side of the events, then you and I are going to be having some one to ones, aren't we? With yeah, with, with the people that are booked onto it. So there's going to, going to be some stuff in a group. Um, then there's going to be some one to ones. Then we'll bring the group back together and some one to ones, and then we'll bring the group back together. And um, I'm 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 expecting that just as where you've reconnected with the herd. Uh, the herds brought something different to you and we've seen a, a shift in your um connections with the horses um and uh, you know also with the reiki and with the future life stuff it's gonna just um everything's coming together is just gonna amplify and kind of lay yeah. that heat in yeah exactly and on the actual sundays you'll be working with the horses um Michelle and the horses and you'll also be working with me in the in the group sessions yeah. um as as well and then the ind- the individual ones um with me will be um the, between the first and the second month um we will actually be on the one to one session i will be taking you back um, to a past life to actually um resolve or heal any issues with that they'll help you in the present. So when we do go next, go to um, do the group session with the horses or you go and work with Michelle one-to-one, you've kind of like cleared anything from the past that might be affecting you in the present and might affect you with the horses. Mm. Uh, and, and, and the, you know, for me, the, the past life stuff, I'm pretty down with in terms of knowing that people work with past lives and, you know, we are about our past, you know, in our DNA and, um, you know and in our hereditary you know what we you know what we feel and what we pick up from and you know the people that nurture us so it, the past life might be about our dna and you know that kind of scientific hereditary path or it could be that we're picking up energy from other people and holding on to their energy and we're kind of carrying trauma that's connected to our loved ones and the people yeah. that are around us and that and that's great with the past life stuff and i sort of and i had that I had that down anyway. I kind of knew, I felt like I knew when I'd been through some of that heat. Yeah. Whereas for me, I was really, when I first met you at Longfield Latte, ladies, I thought, 
oh, I need, oh, I need to know a bit more about this <laughs> stuff. So for me, that was the that was the head turner. It was like, well, I know if, I know that I can go and do and have Reiki, and I know I can go and do uh, past life and and clear energy shifts, and you know, you know, sort of call, attachment cords and all the rest of it. I know that. That I need to know about this so it was just really lovely that even when I was you know when I first sort of heard you introduce yourself I was like oh I need to know more about this and we've just sort of gravitated in that direction towards each other yeah. when I did the um, podcast before yeah and and that's that's kind of what it all came from really so no so I'm really I'm just so excited about it and I think that yeah um, you know, I'm really wanting uh, my clients and, you know, other people, people that I've not worked with before, just to, just to be able to experience more of, you know, more of what you do as well and yeah. you know, just that acceleration. So, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it is. And, and obviously between the second and the third, you go into the future. So you get past and, and, and future. And, you know, with Misha, you might even get to dance with the horses. Yeah, or it, it, could, it could, or it could be you could choose something, um, uh, you know, com completely different. And it, you know, it is our intention that anyone who comes along, um, you know, to, um, to do the freedom to transport the present forces, will actually have more confidence in themselves and actually be able to step out of their comfort zones. And actually take action and become braver. Mm. Um, definitely, you know. definitely. Well, we was looking at that anagram, wasn't my anagram mm. diagram of the of, of the different zones and the words that described people in those different zones. And you know, when when you stay safe and you stick to what you know, you know, you're learning the least about yourself and your environment. And it's about bringing yourself out. And 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 then you know, particularly. Obviously, for me, I was staying safe, and I knew about the stuff that I knew about. But going into the into the future life meditation, because I've you know I've got to admit, I was like a little bit like, well, I'm not sure how this is going to work. <laughs> and, then, um, and and then it was just that's where I was, and it was um, it was emotional for me. I felt like I had a lot of stuff lift you know lift away from me, and and a lot of energy kind of you know come to the surface, and kind and and um, I've been able to. To, to to deal with that and to be able to work through those things so you know it, it, it brought some stuff up in me that was pretty hard hitting actually and uh yeah wet fish in the face moment <laughs> in the face but yeah no it was, it, it was um and it's very unique you know i don't know I, it, to me it seems quite a unique thing to be able mm. to put all these things together so yeah, yeah i'm looking forward to it really. oh I, I am because if people get to experience the, uh, and what I did with the horses, uh, you, you know, and the, the fact that the second time I went in and I just went, you know, no fear trepidation up to a halt, you know, that that translates into stuff in, you know, um, doing stuff in the everyday life because yeah. because because that um, transcends the work with the horses transcends into your into your daily life. So you're more confident of, of you going and doing something that you might be a little bit trepidate, you know, a bit, um, a bit dubious about doing. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the horses are, I mean, I've got, my horses go up in stepping stones. So I've got very small horses all the way up into, you know, huge horses, the size of police horses. So I've got like a stepping stone. There's not one horse that's the same size and they all do, do go down that, like those little um, dogs yeah. inside each other. So, so that's great. And that's great with working with people of different ages, of different confidence levels, because people immediately want to be with the smaller horses if they feel like there's there's that, that worry. But actually, you know, it's it's the bigger horses that you, you were happy to go straight in with, mm. although you bet the smaller ponies... Um, over at the gate but it was the bigger horses that you were happy to go in with yeah and um, you worked with uh, the smallest out the bigger horses first and then the medium sized one you know after that you know when you did your dance so you know they're, yeah they're pretty they are pretty massive animals so um and then they're very you know they are they can be very high energy so the fact that your energy was great for them you know kind of meant that they was pretty great for you as well so there was a lot of lovely lovely stuff you know going on so yeah yeah, yeah it, it was good now don't forget if you if you've um, thought of any if you haven't asked any questions yet and you've thought of any questions you'd like to ask about um 
you know, working with horses um, or going into the future or the past or anything, you know, please, please do um, uh, uh, ask them, um, you know, so that we, we can actually answer them for you and answer them for other people that might be thinking, oh, should I ask that question? Oh, somebody else says, oh, yes, yeah, so I've got the answer. I've, I've got the answer to that. Um, because even if we're not answering them exactly now, we will be looking um, at any questions and comments and actually responding to responding to responding to those. Um, so, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to um, to doing uh, to, to 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 working with you in this in this in this collaboration. And the dates that we're we're doing this, so it's for so it's over three months. So it's three months of um, three group sessions, three day group sessions, where it'll be 10 to four. So it's a full day and um, two one to one sessions, uh, um, two, two individuals. So two with me and two with Michelle. So technically four um, yeah. one to one, one to one sessions um, with us. And we're looking at doing that on the Sunday, the 15th of March, Sunday, the 19th of April and Sunday, the 17th of May and okay. um, for the group sessions and the one to ones. We will arrange that um, individually with you um, for convenient days and times that you can um, come to me in Dartford or you can go to see the horses um, with Michelle um, at the stables in Halton Kirby. Um, so please do feel feel free to check out. I will put all the links um, uh, in in the post so that you can actually um, go go on to them. Um, so now, as you know, I do guided meditations, angel card readings, and each week I like to ask my guests um, whether they would like a guided meditation on angel card. So, Misha, what would you like me to pull for you and those watching? Or what would you like me to do? <laughs> Always an angel card. I'm always going to say angel cards. <laughs> and, and I knew that because I went, Paul, what would you like me to pull? Oh, I'm putting an angel yeah. card. Okay. Yeah. So let's see what the cards have got to say for Michelle and everyone who's watching this. So what does Michelle and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? What does Michelle and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest good? <laughs> I just love the way the cards come out. Okay, so we're running freedom to transform in the presence of forces. So you can become braver than you are. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Oh, brilliant. That's so good. I've just got goosebumps now. Yeah, it's really good. Happy with that. Definitely. Yeah, so, so, so it is, you know, we're all strong beyond measure. Um, you know, Misha, those watching, you're stepping into your power. And by doing the, um, the Freedom Transform um, with the presence of forces, you are literally becoming braver than you are. And that, right, you, know, you, you, you can ask, you can ask for um, a, a better card oh, um, from, okay. from the angels uh, than, than that one. I do, I do love their synchronicities so much. Um, so, Michelle, have you got any thoughts or insights to leave um, our viewers? I am just um, reminding, I'm reminding my clients all the time to feel your feet on the ground, you know, really feel your feet. So as you're walking, there's a lot of, you know, I see a lot of people um, and they come to the yard and they've hurt themselves, they've tripped over, they've kicked their toe, they've done, and it's normally, and when I do things like that, drop their phone, it's normally when my head is uh, all, I'm all heady and I'm moving, you know, I've got it, I'm all in my head and I'm thinking and I'm moving at the same time and I'm just not really putting anything, any use into either of the things that I'm doing where I'm multitasking. Um, and it's just, I always say to my young people and my adults when they're striding across this muddy yard, it's like, feel your feet on the ground, you know, slow yourself down and actually feel that rock of your foot as you put your heel down and walk through your foot onto your toe and just start to really recognize that your feet are on the ground and take those slower steps. And it almost becomes like a medicinal walk, like a meditational walk where people then start to breathe and start to connect with what's going on around them and 
and feel present, you know, because we are just alive in these moments, these moments that we're actually living and breathing in. Um, and, you know, I think once people start to get that concept, which is mm. just the truth, you know, it's the absolute truth, they live um, a more, you know, a, a, a life that's more suited to their, their highest and best. So that's that's my one tip, really, is just to feel your feet, really feel your feet on the ground. Take that time. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely perfect. So, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this and found it insightful. Um, and the words of wisdom and Michelle and myself have given you will help you on your journey. So, Michelle, if people want to connect with you or they want to book um, a place on the Freedom to Transform in the Presence of Horses so that they can become braver um, than they are or find out more information, how can they do that? Um, a few ways. They can connect with me via facebook um michelle bard on facebook or they can go onto the page which is ken equine facilitated learning um, and then message me directly that way um i'm on instagram again ken equine facilitated learning so they could in inbox me via insta my email is not ken equine facilitated learning. it's the little horse yard so my email is the little horse yard at gmail.com because that's the place where it all happens um, and the little horse yard is not just for Kent Equine Facilitated Learning. There's a few other things that go on there as well. Um, uh, or they can find me on 07539 So that's that they will be the ways to get me. Yeah. And if you want to connect with me, you can connect with me here on the um you can get me on Facebook or you can um, email me at ray at radiantangelenergy.co.uk. You can visit my website, www.radiantangelenergy.co.uk and contact me there. Um, or you can um, give me a call on 0758 sorry, uh, 0758 um, If you want to find out more about me, book a place on the freedom to transform in the presence of forces or find out more information. And I will put the link to the actual event itself in the comments. So join me live next uh, Monday, the 10th of February, where my guest will be the beautiful uh, Marilyn Devonish, um, who also works with Future Life Progression, but we're going to be talking about slightly different things. So that should be an interesting conversation. So thank you so much, Michelle, for joining me on, on this show welcome and then thank you to everyone who's watching and please feel free to share this video out if you think there's um any other uh women that you feel will benefit from um watching this video or even um knowing more about a freedom to transform um in the presence of horses and you think this might be ideal ideal for them to do so again thank you michelle thank you everyone for watching um, Michelle, I will speak to you soon and everyone else, I hope to see you next week. Bye.